Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to take your door panel off on a 1999 Dodge Neon in order to get into the speaker. Okay, now to do this job we'll just need some basic tools. We'll need a Phillips screwdriver, we'll need a straight screwdriver, we'll need a T25 little star bit, and a little socket for that. Also, a little pair of needle nose pliers, and also get yourself a little wire so we can pop the clip off the back of the door handle window crank. Okay, now the first thing we want to do, which is probably sometimes the hardest for a lot of people, is go ahead and take this door handle off. It is held on, held on by a clip, so I'll put my fingers behind the um, handle, and there's my little wire hook. And the whole idea is you want it on top of that clip, you can put that hook on, and we'll just simply, uh, once we get the hook on, then we'll just simply pull up on the clip like this. And easy as that, easy as that, out comes our uh, little handle. And here's our little clip. So we'll put this off to the side. Okay, the next thing we've got to do, we've got to take this little bolt out right there. That is a T25, so we'll go ahead and take that out. And out. It comes. Now at this point, we want to go ahead and take our straight screwdriver and get it behind the door panel here. Well, sometimes it can be a little tough and just slightly pull out. And what we're going to do, we're going to release clips that are behind the door. And often, you can just kind of pull out with your hand like that. And when you get up to the top, up to the top where the lock is, be careful and don't pull out on the panel, just slightly pull up, slide this panel out over the lock. The door lock, I should say. Okay. And now we'll grab the front of the panel. And at that point, it's pretty much loose, but we still have one more little uh, screw to take out. This little screw is right here. Take your felt screwdriver and go ahead and loosen this guy up. I think you can see it there. And there's the uh, little screw. Grab that little Phillip guy. Okay, now at this point, you might think the door panel is ready to come off, but it isn't. There's something very important you got to do here. You have to lift up on the panel a little bit, and we'll try to do this with one hand on the camera and holding the panel on the other. And back here on the back, there is a clip. Right here where this clip is, you have to push it forward like this. And when you push that forward, this will allow this rod to slide out of this clip right there. It's plastic, so be careful and don't break it. It's very important that you do that. Because if you do, your door handle will not open the door. And we simply just take the panel off, and we'll stick it off to the side. And here is our speaker into the door. Now here is the back of the panel. Now if you do it just right, you can get these clips off of the door. I'll pull them off of the, the back of the door, I should say, without even breaking them. So I got one here that's uh, already been broken, so I can probably pick up another one at the parts store. But some of the older neons, say mid-90s, um, 94, 95, they're so brittle, it's almost impossible to keep from breaking them. But the good news is you can go to the parts store and pick these up for 3 or $4. But uh, there is a speaker, like I said, and we'll go ahead and pop that out of there real quick. All right, we'll go ahead and take out these... Uh, Three little screws here, real quick. They're fairly long. Pop that one out. One down here at the bottom. And one more right here. Now the reason I took my speaker out, I replaced it with another one. Here's the one I replaced it with and I had to go in and do this connector and everything. Um, these door speakers get kind of weird because they have this little bracket here. That it sets on. You pop this speaker off of, like this, sort of. And I think you can kind of see that there, how it separates. 
you have this other bracket that the speaker bolts on, onto in order to bolt it onto the door. So if you want to replace your speakers, typically what you got to do is get something like these guys here. These are uh, little rings that you can buy on eBay. And these are a six and a half inch. And the whole idea is you put your speaker inside of here and you bolt the speaker to this. Then you set this back on the actual speaker here. Uh, once the speaker is met off, this back ring, you can set this on this ring and bolt all this back up to the door. And you can actually buy special connectors here where you don't even have to do any splicing if you end up getting uh, aftermarket speakers. But I'm going to do a video on that later. But I just want to show you guys, this is how you get into your door. Get your door panel off and also get the speaker off of the vehicle. And just one more little side note. This is the original speaker that was on it. <laughs> you can see it was trashed. The paper inside there is uh, completely torn. I think you can see that. And this is what the speaker is uh, like without that plastic uh, retaining ring that's on there. So it's kind of a weird setup. Often you just can't go on and buy a speaker and put in here because it makes it, this becomes a little difficult putting all this on here. I might as well just pop this off real quick and just show you what I'm talking about. Here's the little plastic ring. It bolts onto the door and you can see it's kind of thick. So um, it's almost impossible to put an aftermarket speaker in here unless you have something like this that you can buy aftermarket and put on here. So it's, it's a little tricky and you have to kind of think this through, the process and everything. Um, sometimes you might be able just to do it like this. Just bolt this on here like this and bolt the speaker onto this ring. Uh, that possibly would work, but you got to worry about the back of the speaker. If it sticks in here too far, it's going to get wet. <laughs> so you may have to buy a protective cone covers and all that. So, But this is something I'll, I'll deal with later and show you guys. So, Even this uh, ring that I got that you bolt your speaker to, there's holes here depending on what size speaker you want to use, 6, 5, 4, or whatever. And I believe um, this one has the ears on the inside, you see. And the one I had here, I cut those ears off because I thought the six and a half inch speakers would work. Well, they work, but they don't exactly line up in these holes. So even if you put this on the door, it gets kind of weird. You might have to like center the holes up and all that. But uh, this is something I'll work out later. But uh, enough of that. But I wanted to show you guys how to pop the door panels off anyway to get into your speakers and uh, here's my trunk it's like brand new still the cars only got just turned over a hundred thousand miles and there's the back speakers none of those work and uh, often when you get the back speakers put in of course you got to do them from the inside I'll make a video on that later but sometimes when you buy these aftermarket speakers they don't sit down in here like they should you can see how this speaker is kind of beveled well, a lot of the, a lot of the aftermarket speakers aren't beveled and they don't sit in here completely so <laughs> You almost have to bolt them from the bottom, but this is something I'll get into later. But uh, other than that, that is how you take the door panel off. And like I said, just be careful. Try not to break any of your little clips there. And just install it in reverse order, and that should take care of everything. So there you go. And thanks for watching. Until my next project, I will see you guys then. Until then, stay cool, everybody.